Now we are going to see the new chapter fraction. First we must know what is a fraction. Fraction definition I have written on the board. Definition a fraction shows a part of a whole. A fraction shows a part of a whole. The whole can be region or a collection. The whole can be region or a collection. So look at this. I am going to explain the uh, definition. A fraction shows a part of a whole. If the example it is a star. So in this star, so how many um, rectangles are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So uh, not 5 rectangles, 5 triangles. How many uh, triangles are? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 triangles are here. But shaded portions only 3. So this is actually the 6 uh, triangles. It is a single star. But it is uh, separated into 6 uh, triangles. Then it is separated into, it's, otherwise it is divided into 6 parts. It is divided into 6 parts. So then it's shaded portion only three shaded portion. So that is called a fraction shows a part of a whole. So it is divided, it divided total, uh, total uh, divided part is uh, six, total part is six, but shaded portion only three. So fraction shows a part of a whole. Three is a part of the whole. Whole is six parts, but only shaded portion is how many? It's three. So it shows a part of a whole. So this uh, six is a whole part. So in the shaded portion is 3, so 3 by 6 of the star is red in color. So fraction shows a part of a whole. Fraction shows a part of a whole. The whole can be region or collection. The whole can be what you're saying? The whole can be region. It is a whole means it is a single thing. It can be a region. It is a, it is a region means it is these are all regions. So it's a, these are called as a parts or collections. So the whole can be region or a collection. So 3 by 6 of the star is in red color. It, it is a single star but it is divided into 6 parts but only 3 portions are shaded. So fraction shows a part of a whole. From this star we understood. So fraction is a part of a whole because total parts are 6. Only shaded portion is 3. 3 by 6 is red in color. Only 3 by 6 that is 3 parts of the portion. 3 parts are 3 portions are shaded in red color the remaining it is not in while it is not in red color that means the entirely the total part is six from the six parts we uh, colored only three parts that is called as a fraction that is what they mentioned fraction shows a part of a whole but actually it is a single star it is a only one star so we divided so 3 by 6 it is a 3 is a numerator and 6 is a denominator generally fraction is made up of two numbers one it is a what one it is one is a what numerator other one is a denominator fraction is made up of two number one is a numerator another number is a denominator so top number is a numerator and bottom number is a denominator that is what i mentioned fraction is made up of two numbers that is top number it is a what top number is a that is top number is a numerator and bottom number is a denominator. So 3 by 6, 3 is a numerator and uh, uh, 6 is a denominator because 3 is a top number and 6 is a bottom number. The top number is always called as a numerator and uh, bottom number is always called as a denominator. So fraction is made up of two number. One is a numerator, other one is a denominator. So 3 is a numerator and uh, 6 is a denominator. Top number is always called as a numerator and bottom number is always called as a denominator. So fraction is made up of two numbers. 3 by 6 is an example of 4 by 5 or 2 by 7 or 5 by 8 whatever the numbers whatever the fraction you have taken but only fraction is made up of two numbers. One is a numerator other one is a denominator. Always top number is called as a numerator and bottom number is called as a denominator. So you don't forget this concept. It's a very very basic concept and types of fraction now we are going to see that is many types of fraction but now we are going to see proper fraction and improper fraction and mixed fraction proper fraction means always a numerator is less than the denominator it is a proper fraction improper fraction means numerator is greater than the denominator it is a improper fraction next one is a mixed fraction it is composed of otherwise it is combined with a whole number and also a proper fraction it is combined together is mixed as a it's combined together or mixed as a mixed fraction so it is a composed of whole number and a proper fraction otherwise it is combined with the whole number with the proper fraction it is called as a mixed fraction now we are going to see some examples proper fraction so numerator is always what less than the denominator so 1 by 2 1 is a numerator and 2 is a denominator 1 is always less than 2 
2 by 5, 2 is less than 5. 3 by 7, 3 is less than 7. 4 by 9, 4 is less than 9. And improper fashion, numerator is always greater than the denominator. So 5 divided by 5, 5 is greater than 4. 7 divided by 6, 7 is greater than 6. 8 divided by 2, that means 8 is greater than 2. And 4 divided by 3, 4 is greater than 3. So all the denominators are what? All the denominators, all the denominators are what? Less than the numerator, less than the numerator. All the denominators are less than the numerator. Otherwise, we can say all the numerators are greater than the denominator. That is what numerator is greater than the denominator. All the numerators are greater than the denominator. It is called as an improper fraction. Next fraction, whole number combined with the proper fraction is called as a mixed fraction. Whole number combined with the what proper fraction is called as a mixed fraction. So combining joined together. That is 1 is a whole number, 2 by 3 is a proper fraction because 2 is a numerator and 3 is a denominator. 2 is less than 3, 2 is less than 3. That is what numerator is less than denominator, 2 is less than 3. So it is a proper fraction. One 2 by 3 and 2 4 by 5 2 is a whole number and 4 by 5 is a proper fraction because 4 is less than 5 and 3 5 by 7 3 is a whole number and 5 by 7 is a proper fraction 5 is less than 7 7 6 by 8 7 is a whole number and 6 by 8 is a proper fraction how could you say it's a proper fraction but 6 is less than 8 Okay, that means numerator is less than the denominator is always a proper fraction. Numerator is greater than the denominator. It is an improper fraction. What is a mixed fraction? Mixed fraction is nothing but, nothing but what do you say? So, how could you say this? That is a, what is, it is a composed of. It is a composed of or the whole number with the proper fraction. Otherwise, we can call it as whole number combined with the proper fraction. It is called as a mixed fraction. Now, we are going to see a like fraction. Like fraction, that means example 1, 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. So example 1. So, denominators are same but numerators are different. In this uh, particular fraction, all the denominators are same. It is a like fraction. So, both denominators are same. It is called as a what like fraction in this place 2 by 6 4 by 6 5 by 6 in, in this three fraction that there, there are three fraction is given in the uh, in the board so three fractions are given on the board so all the denominators all the denominators are same all the denominators are same so it is a like fraction so denominators are same means it is a like fraction not only both even three or four whatever may be the numbers may be vary but denominators are same but the numerators are different it is a like fraction that means denominators always same it is a like fraction unlike fraction means both the denominators are different see look at this both in for this i'll tell you 5 by 7 compare this the, these are the two fraction 3 by 5 and 2 by 7 5 and 7 both the denominators are different here 4 by 6 and 5 by 8 so these two are the fraction these two are the fractions 6 and 8 these two denominators are different so it is a what unlike fractions that means like fraction means what like fraction means denominators are same both the denominators are more than uh, more than both the denominators are same it is a like fraction so denominators always are similar are same it is a like fraction but denominators are different in both the fractions are how many fractions are given in the question all the denominators are different means if the denominators are different it is a what unlike fraction so we have seen uh, that means what are the types of fraction there is proper fraction improper fraction mixed fraction like fraction and unlike fraction these are the type of the fraction these are the major fractions these are the major these are the major types of fraction we have seen next class we are seeing different types of fraction and also we'll do some exercises and the examples in fractions so what is a fraction fraction shows a part of a whole the whole can be a region or collection example i've told you it is a single star but it is divided into six part but it is a whole part it but only the three parts are shaded that is the definition fraction shows a part of a whole three uh, parts are shaded in what red in color and um, fraction is made up of two numbers one is a numerator other one is a denominator the top number is a numerator and the bottom number is a denominator so three is a numerator and six is a denominator always top number we can call it as numerator and bottom number we can call it as a denominator so don't forget these rules and regulations these are the major and important points of fraction